Hello, people. Hello. Um, hey, it's Sakimoto24. Um, I'm here. I've got a sort of a different setup today. I'm actually visiting family, and so I brought my entire stream setup here um, for fun. But today um, is round one of the playoffs for the VDL, which is the Victory Draft League. I'm, I'm facing uh, MTB, the coach of the um, Strawman Star Raptors. He's got a very scary team. Um, I don't... Not feeling super confident about the prep, but uh, we've got I got somewhat of a plan. Uh, I'll see if it works. I'm not sure. He's like I said, he's got a very tough team. Would not be surprised if I got kind of blown away here. But uh, we're gonna fight and we're gonna see if we can t get a win here. Uh, this is round one of the playoffs, and I would really like to move on. So um, I'm not gonna explain the matchup too much. Um, like I'm not gonna go super deep into it. Um, my team is ready. Um, but essentially, the, the my, my main stars on my team have been Charizard, Dracozolt, Tyranitar, and Excadrill. And my opponent has Tapafini, Mudsdale, and Zapdos, which are all very threatening against, you know, for my threats. I mean, Dracozolt can take out, you know, uh, Tapafini, but then again, Tapafini's fairy type, so it can also, you know, really threaten Dracozolt at the same time. Um, and, you know, there's always the Mudsdale switch in for the electric moves, which is scary. I mean, all three of those Pokemon do really well into Charizard. I mean, Excadrill's threatened by uh, Mudsdale and Feeny. It's it, it's really hard. It's going to be a really d tough matchup. My opponent also has Grimmsnarl, which is tough. Um, he's just tough to deal with in general. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be a really tough matchup. And, uh, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to see what we can do. We're going to see what we can do. We've had a good season, so... Um, Let's see. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I'm do this code. Uh, da da da. We're doing today's date as the code. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure we can connect here. Okay, cool. I think this is him. Okay, this is going to be... Whew, we're, ner we're scared. We're scared for this one, folks. We're scared for this one. So, um, yeah, but we're not We're not going to let the nerves get to us. We're going to fight. We're going to fight. We're going to try to play well, and, and we're going to hope for the best. Um, what music do we want? I think I want uh, for this one... What, which one is it that's really good? I think it's Spectre... Or, no, it's Calyrex. Calyrex, that's the one. Participating team. It's our party. This team is so wacky. Oh, it's... I had to make some last-second changes. I actually prepped, like, the... We had, we had two weeks to prep for this, and I, I prepped a long time ago, and I actually thought the Raichu got Sunny Day. It does not get Sunny Day, so it kind of messed with my plan a little bit, but uh, we made some last-second adjustments. Um, hopefully it doesn't change the outcome too much here. But uh, good luck, have fun to MTB. Let me message him that, actually. Okay. Oh, no Zapdos. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, good luck. Have fun. Oh, he actually brought the coma, oh, which is interesting. And I have no fairy types. It could actually be threatening. Um, I'm going to go with my original plan, which is to bring... We brought the Luxray for Intimidate. Interesting. That was That's a really, really good move, in my opinion. Um, so Charizard doesn't look too bad here. Okay, I'm going to go with Excadrill Raichu. And Titar in the back. And the question is, do I even want to bring Charizard or bring Wailord? Eh. I think he could be bringing Luxray here. So I might go for Mr. Mime. Like, he could just be Intimidate and Snarl. But, um... What's the most threatening thing here? Trick Room, probably. I think I bring Wailord in the back. I don't know. We're gonna see. <laughs> like we're gonna need, we're gonna need luck. We're gonna need luck, and we're gonna need hope. Um. And we're gonna need hacks. Okay. We're gonna need all those things probably. It is nice to see no Zapdos, although the the major threats I think are Mudsdale and Feeny are the primary threats here. Um. <sighs> cool training card. Cool training card. And. 
So on top of my opponent having a good team, uh, I've watched a bit of his gameplay. He, he's a very good trainer, so he's a very good battler. So um, we can't we can't underestimate him here at all. Or we will lose. Okay. This is one of the leads I was somewhat afraid of, um, but I think it should be okay. Um, and I think every day of the week here we go for a steel spike and a fake out. He could read into this. He could totally switch out. Um, I'm kind of hoping that he doesn't because I'm hoping he wants to go for that swagger because that'd be a really, really nice lead for him. He actually withdraws Grimstrong. Okay, that's what I was fearing. Luxray. Okay, awesome switch by him. Okay, awesome, awesome. That was a really good play on this part. Really, really good play. But we will get a defense boost, so um, assuming this Mudsdale, well, I don't know what item it has. Um, but even if it's Life Orb, I, I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not KOing it to go through the game. I think we're safe here. Let's see what he does, see if he down maxes. I'm assuming he does, but we'll see. Yep, he does. Okay. So he's got Luxray, which could be a problem, because really we need extra people to take it out. Um, I don't think he has any form types, since he didn't bring charge up. So we can max Quake into this... Uh, Lux right pretty safely next turn, unless we just want to go for another steel spike. We also have charm on Raichu, so we can charm this mud seal and be really annoying. I'm actually hoping he goes for the Raichu, but we'll see. It does nothing. Okay, so we definitely have to max Quake that next turn, if we want to get rid of it. Um, the question is, does he read that and switch out? Which would be pretty bad. Okay, we see Max Quake, let's see who is it, who is it into. Right, you. Okay, love it. Okay, so he finds out we're Sash, which is really good information for him, honestly. Um, he could be Scarf Luxray, which would be really, really bad, but we will also learn that this turn. Um, so the question is, do we want to boost up our defense again? Or do we want to... Like, who could he have in the back? Because if we Quake... If we quake him, he doesn't have a good switch into that, but he could just switch back to Grimmsnarl. I think I want to get rid of Luxray, though. Yeah. And eh, does he want to just intimidate spam me? I think he does switch out here. But if I steel spike and I don't, and he, like, snarls me, that's pretty bad. Uh, actually, I'm going to quake. I'm going to quake. I'm not scared. Okay, I do have... I'm going to charm the Mudsdale. We'll see if he's Scarf. He's not Scarf. Okay, cool. So we charm the Mudsdale. That's super good for us. Okay, Shuka. Okay, so he definitely lives this. But we're still not in a bad position. We're both kind of like not making much out of our Dynamaxes here. Like, he will get rid of my Raichu. Um, but you know, we've charmed his Mudsdale. And he's not that big of a threat now, which... Oh, he's using Hell. Oh, interesting. That's a really cool tag. Unfortunately, that's... The charm is doing more than the Hell is. Steel Spike. Okay, I'm gonna you. So the issue with taking out the Luxray here... Like, we almost kind of want to stop this turn, because the issue with taking out the Luxray is without fake-out pressure, we have no way to stop him from doing swagger stuff with him. So, um... question is, do we throw in Wailord? We could throw in Wailord now. Um, I feel like we do. I feel like we do. Yeah, that too many really sucks. Okay, um... I might go for a Rockwell here. Let's see. He doesn't have much speed, honestly, on his team, overall. Like, he could throw in Como, which would be kind of annoying. I might Rockfall this Luxray. I might actually still spike the Luxray. I think it'll be enough. I don't want to take a risk, though. And I kind of want to protect Waylord, because I think he might target it down. He could Howl again, honestly. 
Um, no, I think I, I think I, I don't think I can take this risk here. The Excadrill, I think I need to quake it, and I think I need to protect. Okay. Tapafini, that's fine. Misty Surge is totally fine. So he does want to intimidate spam us at the end, which is really, really bad, because we actually brought Physical Whale Lord. I didn't think about that. I did not think about Luxray at all, to be honest. So that's actually really, really, really bad. And we do not have a good way through Tapu Fini, so it's good that we're getting damage off on it. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a lot. Let's see if it's lefties. I assume this is an axe here, but let's see. Oh, it's in a really good, good. So we protected the two guys. But now they have a special defense boost, and it's going to be super, super hard for our extra girl to get through this type of thing. Um, I don't want to give up my special defense boost. I assume he's probably going to switch out much still here, to be honest. So I might just double the on type of thing. Let's see. Uh... I might just Iron Head and I might double Iron Head this thing. I'm min speed though, this is the problem. It could be. Uh, it could protect Mudsdale, I guess. I kind of want to get rid of the Mudsdale though. Um, he could probably switch in Grim Snarl. This is super bad for us, to be honest. I think I'm gonna Iron Head. I'm gonna double the Feeny. Nature's Madness. Oh, I haven't seen that move in forever. So now he knows we're physical. And Whale Lord's probably going down here, which is pretty bad, honestly. We need to get extra drill out of here. Ooh, body press. Doesn't take us down. So we can iron head. Um I feel like Well, this is not a great position for us, honestly. We could go for an earthquake. It's not gonna do much though. Yeah, we're in pretty bad position here, honestly. Um, but we need to get rid of this Feeny. He might read a protect here. Um, he's gonna save that Luxray. This is a big, 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 big problem. I think we have to risk this. I think we have to risk. I think we have to like make a big read here that he thinks we're gonna protect. Probably Luxray. Yeah, I should have read into that actually. That was kind of stupid of me. I should have earthquake. We will take out Luxray though, which is good. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we have Oblivious. We have speed, so we do take out Luxray. That's good. But well, we're just probably going down here, which is bad because now we can't reset the Intimidate for Extra Drill. Oh, that's really really bad. Because now we get to body press on Extra Drill. Yeah, that's that's really bad. Ah, he can go for swagger stuff now. This is, this is yeah, this is not good. I might go for an earthquake and an ice punch. Yeah, I might actually do that. Earthquake, ice punch. Let's see if we can take out this Mudsdale. So I think he's gonna go for swagger, but we'll see. I might go for a reflect though. This is kind of our only play to win. Oh, he does go for a reflect. Okay, well that's really bad because there's I don't think there's any way we take out this Mudsdale now. We needed him to swagger. There's no way we can spawn say Titar is taking out Mudsdale. Yeah, this, this is not looking good. Uh, and he gets a D yeah, defense boost. There's no way we're taking him out. 
Let's see what his item though. Let's see if he's weakness policy. I don't think he is. I would just, I'd just probably a soul vest. Yeah, we need a plan to take out this mudstale. Okay, so we have stamina. It's just really bad. This is where like bringing physical warlord was like a super bad idea. We're just gonna finish out this game, but there's no way. There's no, we, like there's nothing we can do here. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have even. Yeah. So we need to figure out, one, how to, how to get rid of this Mudsdale effectively and not make him just way too much of a threat late in the game. And then also how to take care of this Luxray. Um, this is going to be, this is going to be tough. I could bring Mr. Rhyme. The thing is I have to, I have to lead Raichu. Like I have to. So, yeah, like he's probably just going to do the same thing, honestly. I have to lead Raichu. Um, thing is, I could just charm the Mudsdale right off the bat, so I don't think it's a big deal. Um, try to lead Charge right now. That's a bad play. Um... I could just rely on Titar. That's probably a bad play. I could go Waylord mode. I could lead Waylord against Mudsdale, but even then, I don't think it, that doesn't that doesn't do that whole lot. Um, yeah, this kind of sucks, honestly. We're like primarily like, we're pretty much all. I mean, Charizard could be good later in the game. I should have brought Willow with Charizard. I think that was my problem. Maybe we go Ryan. We gotta bring... I think... Well, do we have to bring Titar? Probably not, honestly. I think we're gonna go Charizard, Titar. Not bring Willowlord. Yeah, this is a super bad. This is just a bad matchup. Honestly. Well, I mean, maybe there's some other things I could have done with the prep, but yeah, this is not. We have to play out of our minds. And the Luxray bring was really, really nice. Let's do Luxray. He just leads Luxray up front, which is super nice because now he can. That's actually so good for him. Because now he can protect Mudsdale. Actually, we didn't. He's probably a Soul Vest. But now we can. I mean, we can like charm, and I don't know what he does here. I mean, we can max quake, but do we want to do that? And I also don't want to give up extra drill that easily. Like, eh. I think we honestly switch in Charizard. I know that sounds stupid, but. See if he goes for a Quake right into... Like, he might just go for Hal and Quake into Excadrill. I'm really, really hoping he does not go for... He might go for a Knuckle. I'm just really hoping he Quakes into Charizard. Like, I'm really, really hoping that happens. I, I actually, I need that. Because my win condition, I think, is big reads. Like, I don't think there's any other way I win, unless I make really big reads here. He's probably gonna go for the Raichu. He might even double the Raichu, to be honest. And just get rid of it, because he knows it's Sash. Okay, he goes for Superpower. Okay, and a Charizard, cool. Let's see if he... 
Next Knuckles. Let's see, let's see if it goes in the Charizard. Who's in a Raichu? Okay, break set. That's actually a really good play. So he can Rockfall and destroy my Charizard, which, to be honest, I don't think is that bad. Um, I'm just think. I think I'm just gonna charm him again. I mean, he's kind of wasting his Dynamax, honestly. Does a Rockfall even kill me? Like, do I Heat Wave and try to burn him, or do I just freaking protect, honestly? He's got to switch out Luxray, right? Like, he has to switch out Luxray. If we charm him. I feel like we can live a... Uh... Hmm. This is bad. Yeah, this is not good. I kind of want to just protect and waste the max move here. I'm just going to heat wave though. I feel like maybe protecting is a better play, but... I do want damage. Okay, so we can charm. And he can... He can swagger next turn. But... Burn. Oh, oh my gosh, we need to burn so bad. Burn, 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 burn. We need to burn. Please burn. And we don't get to burn. Okay, next go. So Raichu's probably dead. So now we can swagger. He'll be at minus two still. He's just gonna go for a body press endgame now, I think. Um, honestly, I think this might not be a bad idea here. I think we can actually Dynamax T-Tar here, as weird as that sounds. Like, what is it? I feel like it's not that bad. I mean, he can, like, swagger Max Knuckle us, and that would be pretty bad. But I think we will be faster. I kind of want to just go for another burn. Like, burn would be super, super good. Like, burn would be so good. This is such a weird... Like, this is probably the... The craziest matchup we played against in the closest game. Although I guess it, it feels close. I guess last game really wasn't close. Light screen. Okay. Cool. Well, glad we didn't Dynamax Charizard. That would have been kind of silly. Okay, we missed somebody. Mudsdale, that's... Wow, well, we double miss. That's super bad. Okay, but we do get a Steel Spike, which is nice. That's super nice for t -tar. Let me get rid of Grimstar, which is nice. And, like, we can always throw an extra drill and do Earthquake to set our own weakness policy if the Mudsdale doesn't set, us, set it for us. And even though the Mudsdale will ha it does have a defense boost, okay, what does he have? One? Okay, so he wants to get rid of Charizard. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. Oh. Does Desan take us out? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, that's so huge. So if he has no priority, we still get another heat wave off, which is huge. Luxray, that's bad. Okay, we do, we're intimidated. That's fine. So, I don't know if Luxray has any priority moves. And he's not Scarf, so we do get a free heat wave off here. Who could he have in the back? I'm guessing he has Feeny in the back. Like, he's gotta have Feeny in the back. Um... So what do we do here? Do we get rid of the Luxray? Because he might just try to intimidate Spanus from here on out. I feel like we do. But we also know that Mudsdale cannot protect. Oh yeah, but it's still not going to take him out, which is the problem. Oh, we miss again. Oh, that's so... That's Oh, that's really disappointing. We would A burn would be really nice here. We're giving him defense boost. We really need to burn, honestly. Okay, we get our weakness policy boost. So hopefully now we can take out this Luxray. Cool. So 
Charizard will go down, but we have... We just gotta take care of this Mudsdale, I think, with Max Hailstorm. Oh, Body Press, that's pretty bad. Okay, so we do not live in that another turn. Which is pretty bad, because Mudsdale's gonna start taking things out. We could Rockfall the Feeny, honestly, but I don't think... Uh, I don't think we live another... We need a plus two steel... Well, we're not plus two, are we? We're plus one, aren't we? We're plus one. I mean, I could Hailstorm, but then I don't know how we beat Feeny, especially if it is Muddy Water. I think we need to flinch on the Feeny. We def we need we need a flinch on the Feeny. Like I think that's the only way we win. Ooh, Haze. That's super nice bring for them. That's so nice. And he's gonna get a stamina boost, yeah, so we probably lose this game. Oh, do we crit? Oh my gosh, do we crit? Oh, that wasn't a crit, that was just a Okay, let's see what he goes for. Goes for Tito, we're probably going down. Okay, we are down. We do go down. I mean, extra drills could win this game. The issue is we don't have any special defense boost on Feeny. And Feeny probably takes us out in like one shot. We know Feeny is a berry. Is he gonna go for a calm mind? Could go for a calm mind. We definitely protect here, like. All the time. I wonder if it has. Does Feeny get heal pulse? If that's the case, we'd like lose a million percent. Like a million percent of the time we lose. Wait. What? How do we win that? I don't understand. Did he not have a win did he not have a way out? Was he Scarf Haze? Wait, I don't understand. I guess we go game three. That's so strange. Oh, I'm gonna ask him after the match because I don't want to. Maybe because if like, like if he if he forfeited because he was scarfed, he he doesn't want to like give away the information. So, um, okay, we go to game three, I guess. Um, he hates Raichu, which is why we're gonna lead it again. Um, we could go Titar. I think we might actually lead Titar. Because Titar did super well. That Luxray is still a big, big, big problem for us. Um, I think if we, we let him rock for extra, it might not be bad. Um, I feel like we lead this. Well, I'm going to go with the same lead again. He's probably expecting the same Pokemon in the back. He might honestly bring Como. But we'll see. I don't know. I feel like we got very lucky there. We'll see if we can... Oh, man. If we can pull this out, that's actually insane. But I don't think... I think we sort of got lucky last, last game. Okay. He goes the same way. This is game two. I think he's gonna expect a charm this game. Well, we've charmed like every, we've charmed him every time. We could fake him out. 
I think I want to charm and protect. Um, or I could honestly max quake and just get, well, I, I can't get rid of the looks, right? I could do the same play as last game and make him make a read. I think he's just going to double the Raichu here. I think it's just what he does. Which is scary, but Raichu's actually like a late game. I'm going to protect. That's a, That actually might be a bad play. It might be advantageous too. Okay, he's just going to go straight into the grips. Man, I wish I iron headed. I had a hunch. Yeah, this, this is probably a bad turn one for us. I mean, we do get a charm off, but... See that's in two. Right, you. Okay. You can't sucker punch us. They can't do a lot of annoying crap. Um, we're gonna charm again, and then Iron Head. My plan here is just to keep um, extra drill alive. We, we just want to mitigate this what this Mudseal is doing. We want to keep Electro, uh, Excadrill alive so we can Earthquake and proc on Weakless Pulse for Teach Iron. I think we Dynamax Teach Iron and try to go for the win. I mean, it's really risky because he has Luxury of Superpower. I mean, a lot of his Pokemon hit him for super effective, but I think it, that's how we win. We are we have a lot of defensive bulk on this. Uh... Okay, takes that right, I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. Well, he's got to have swagger, right? Wait, he's stamina. I'm an idiot. Wait, so he doesn't have swagger. That's interesting. Okay, so I could go T... I could go Charizard and Swag... I think T-Tars are in game. Unless we go Charizard here. Like, I could Dynamax Charizard in the back and try to win. That actually might not be that bad. The problem is we have no way to get Sun up. And he's just like... He's just so much better in Sun. Um, I think we do this. I think we Earthquake. Please be your Luxray. Luxray, cool. So I'm fine with this. Um, we do give Mudsdale a defense boost. He already has one, so I think he's going for some body presses. Um, we might go for another one too, honestly. So he'd be plus three, which would be scary, but we will be plus one with this weakness policy boost. And uh, yeah, there's no way we take that Luxray here. But. Pretty threatening offensively with Tintar. Yes, yeah, this, this is not going to do very much at all. If you honestly, if I were him, I would probably just switch out the Luxray and just intimidate Spam. But we'll see what he does. Maybe a Max Knuckle coming in. I'm not sure. That's doing nothing. Yeah. Okay, so now superpower is actually really scary here. Yeah, Tether is actually super threatened right here. So I actually think I want to max guard and switch to Charizard. I think they double the T-Tard and try to take him out. If I had to guess. 
So I'm actually going to max guard and switch to Charizard. We do waste the max move, just max guarding, but if I do make this call this read correctly, it's, it's good for us. We need that at this point. He has control. Actually, with draws luck. Okay, he is, does want to intimidate span. I think it was the wrong play on my end. Yeah, it was def. Oh, I made a horrible, horrible play. He actually read that super. Oh my gosh, that was that was an amazing read. I need to take out this uh, Mudsdale. So like, I have to Hailstorm, and I think he... Yeah, probably Heat Wave. This is bad. We're not looking good. <laughs> that was a really, really nice play. That was probably the play of this game. Like, if I would have Hailstormed into Mudsdale there, we would have been actually in a decent position. If we can get a burn here, that'd be huge. Please burn. Burn? No, we can't burn. He's Misty Surge. I'm an idiot. It, we're just increasing his defense. Oh, heal, he does have heal pulse. Yeah, this is so, so bad. Yeah, there's no way we win this game. We need to crit. Actually, if we crit, we can win, but... Just doing nothing. Yeah, there's just no way. We have to go for a raw solar beam. Yeah, this, and this body press is about to one shot or something. Charizard avoided. Huge. The Feeny is faster, so. Oh, this sucks. Alright, well. I guess we go for flinches? <laughs> this is horrible. Um. Yeah, I guess we have to go for flinches. <laughs> that sucks. Well, honestly, really well played and, and good prep by Star Raptors. Like, oh, we flinch. Okay, we get one flinch. Can we get another? Can we get another flinch? If we get another flinch, that's enormous. Like, so huge. Because we're getting one shot by everything at this point. Like. There's a berry. Oh, he does get the bypass, okay. Yeah, we're not living that. This is a GG. I'm guessing he's a soul best, too. Um, I might have to go for an air slash in the mud. I might have to double the muds. Well. Yeah, I might have to double the Mudsdale. Actually, I might Earthquake. There's no shame in doing that. And I think I have to Air Slash the Mudsdale, and I have to flinch it. Oh, he doesn't switch out. Okay, I expect, I expect to switch into Luxray. I'm surprised his defense can still go any freaking higher. Maybe I should have Iron Head and gone for the double flinch. Uh, he goes for the heal pulse. Eh, okay. I did not think he'd do that, but... Okay, we get no flinch, so... Yeah. We got nothing. Um, yeah, we really got nothing here. Yeah. I mean, this is GG's. Um. Yeah, he can spam heal pulse. Yeah, I think I have to keep flinching. Yeah, there's just no way. If he keeps spamming, yeah, there's no way. Right? We lose. That's okay, though. Oh, 
Yeah, we made a somewhat of a read. Alright, now he's gonna go for heal pulse and Ah, we just lose. <laughs> this sucks. And we miss. But I pressed such GG's. Well played. Well played. We had a good season. We had a wacky team. I loved it. I loved using all the mons. Um, but that's the end of our run. We lose round one of the playoffs. Um, Star Raptors have a great team. I wish them the best of luck. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of good teams out there. It's going to be exciting playoffs. So um, if you do like watching the video games with this draft league, it's really interesting draft league. Uh, you know, Stay tuned. There's going to be some good games coming up. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, good games. Well played. Good prep on, uh, on uh, Star Raptors End. Um, and hey, if you're watching this, best of luck. You got a good team. And uh, I guess that's it. Sakimoto is out of here. See you guys.